you're watching the Emmy Award-winning Richard French live only on RNF. Welcome back to RFL. Despite national recognition and major advancements in therapy, families around the country are struggling, not just financially, but also emotionally, with the challenges of raising a child with autism. But one group in our region is about to take on a unique voyage, hoping to help these families. Our Carolyn Rowe is here with that story. Carolyn? Well, Andrew, these five friends wanted to do something big, something that would really make a splash and a difference in the lives of children with special needs. So they're setting out on a 1,500-mile row from Florida up the coast to New Jersey. It's called Rock the Boat for Autism. Larry Marr sweats as he uses all his strength to pull his oar through the water. He practices rowing, his muscles training in the way they'll be moving almost constantly for the next seven weeks. It's going to be closer to 30 to 40 miles a day. Have you ever rowed that much in one day before? Never. Actually, many few people have done that <laughs> in one day. He's one of five recent college grads with a mission to raise a boatload of money and awareness for the Autism Society of America. Thirteen years ago, one in 10,000 kids was diagnosed with autism. This year it's one in 150, and they really don't know why. Um, and now they're realizing early intervention and treatments can help these kids lead a normal life. It's a message they're planning to bring to folks all along the East Coast, 1,500 miles from Boca Raton, Florida, to Sea Isle City, New Jersey. They're going by sea, hoping to make others see that autistic children need their help. So it should be fun. I'm excited, nervous about the unknown, but... I would say keep rowing, you know, even though your arms and your legs and your mind is tired. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and keep pushing. Encouraging words from a mom that is miles away in Milford, Connecticut. Just like we encourage our kids to do. Don't ever give up. Keep growing, keep pushing, keep pushing. A mother of four boys, no, two with autism. Yeah, Jennifer so Knopf knows the importance of encouragement. No, mom, that is an awesome thing. It's a typical afternoon in the Knopf house. It's like running a marathon from the minute you open your eyes till the minute you go to bed. Nine-year-old Samuel practices setting the table one place at a time. It's an exercise he's doing with one of his teachers as part of the home therapies he has six times a week. Jennifer says this neurological brain disorder has impacted her two sons very differently. Justin is high functioning in a mainstream setting most of the time. Most of his deficit areas are in social communication, so he has a difficult time keeping and maintaining friends, understanding when to jump into conversations. But Samuel's autism is much more severe. He has trouble communicating what he's feeling and has severe, sometimes self-harming behavior. He had what was called elopement behavior, established elopement behavior, so he has no safety awareness. So we would open the car door and he would run. We would open the front door, he would run. He would um, escape from our yard. They've gotten through these tough times with the help of the Autism Society of America, helping them not only financially but emotionally. They connect you with other families that are going through the same challenges that you're going through and it's really a network of support. It's support from the society and simple things, small accomplishments by her children that keeps Jennifer going. She had said to me, I don't know if Samuel will ever be able to express to you how he feels. And you know, as a mother, I was devastated. And two or three years after that, Samuel uh, looked up at me and just spontaneously said, I wub you, mama. And the tears just came rolling down my face. A stream of tears from this mother so dedicated to giving her sons the best life possible. It's just one of the reasons these strangers are setting out to sea hoping to help families they have never even met. So far, it's just been how grateful everyone's been. They, they can't believe we're doing it. They really love, especially the parents, they can't believe the emails we get. They're just ecstatic that we're doing something like this and people actually care. And If I can make their day a little bit easier, just for a day, maybe for a week with the amount of money that we raised, it's going to be, um, it's gonna be a worthwhile cause for, for myself. Now the group will start their journey this Saturday from Florida and should be finishing up at Sea Isle City, New Jersey on August 1st. There's more information on how to donate at rocktheboatforautism.org.
Andrew? What a great project, and certainly we want to wish our best to uh, both the boaters and, of course, to the families and the kids with the autism. Absolutely. Great Amazing story. people. Great story, Carolyn. Thanks. Thank you.